what's up you guys welcome back to another video so i'm gonna be showing you how i do my gel x nails i've been wearing soft gel for a while now and sometimes it's very time consuming and i don't be having that much time so i thought it was about time to switch back to some gel x and it's getting kind of popular now so i thought i'd show you guys how i do mine at home so i already took off my gel nails and i'm just pushing my cuticles back to prepare my nail bed and i got these bt art box x coat tips they're already pre-colored um kind of like a natural pinky kind of color and there's a few other colors that it comes in i got these from amazon and i think it's 300 in a pack then I'm just taking my e-file and I'm just getting rid of all the excess skin around my cuticle. So two things I did that are actually optional here. I did use my cuticle cutter and I did cut off some more excess skin that kind of came up but did not come off. And then I buffed my actual nail. Um, it wasn't as edged as I needed it to be. So you don't necessarily have to do this unless in, you need to. These were just two things that I needed to do for my nail in this moment. Then I went and I prepped my nails with this Kiera Sky. I believe this is an alcohol-based um, solution. It just helps clean off any excess debris or dust off your nails. And it helps keep the nail dry or make sure that the nail is dry before you apply your gel tips. And then I just went and sized the tips to figure out which ones would best fit each one of my fingers. And the thing about these tips is you're not always going to get a perfect fit. So I had to do a lot of filing just to make sure that it did fit my nail, especially around the cuticle part. And you'll see that in a little bit. But I did have to go and just kind of customize it a little bit, which is totally fine as long as you don't have any spaces um you're totally fine just make sure that you know you are customizing if customizing it if needed Then I'm just gonna take some protein primer. This is also from Kiara Sky, and I'm gonna apply that on my nails. And then I'm gonna take some nail gel glue. This is from BTR as well, which is the same brand as the nail tips. And I'm gonna apply a thin coat on top of my nail and also a small amount inside the nail tip. So here comes the tricky part. So these nails are actually designed to leave a little space so that the glue, the gel glue can live in between your nail and the nail tip. But the trick here is really how you apply it. So you have to apply it starting from your cuticle and slowly pressing the nail forward towards the tip of your nail. And the slower you move it, the less likely you'll have gel oozing out the side, but you can always clean it up after and then you just cure it under a UV light. So originally I thought I was going to have an issue with curing this nail just because the nail is a little bit more on the opaque side. You can see through the nail, but definitely not as much as a clear nail or a more natural colored nail. Um, and the nail is designed a lot thicker than regular tip nails, but surprisingly, I did not have an issue, so it was good to go. I think my lamp is a 90 second lamp. It might be 60. I'm not sure. This is a smaller lamp um, just for like things like this so that you can hold your nail. It's not the big lamp, so there's no timer on it, but I think it is, I think 90 seconds. I did not hold it for the amount of time that the light was on, but you know, it still cured it. So after I finished curing all my nails, I went in with a nail file just to shape them. And I also did cut my nails down because I did not want them this length. I usually 
wear them short nowadays every once in a while i'll give it a little length but this time i wanted them short how i usually have them and if you noticed i have a different shape on my pinky which that is still the old set that is from the old set the soft gel i did not um take that off i wanted to keep that shape so just you know sidebar if you noticed but yeah i just went back and forth with my nail file and then also with my e-filer um just to really get in there and shape the nail the way i wanted it So even though I do like the natural color that the nail came in, I did want to switch it up a little bit. So I'm using this milky white gel polish from, I believe the name is pronounced Medita. And let me, let me tell y'all, this is the perfect milky white. If you are looking for a white that is not as opaque and it's not as bright and it's not giving you the white out look, not that there's a problem with that because I do own that white, but if you're going for something a little bit more subtle, this is the perfect milky white i will link it down below i'm actually i'll link all of the products down below that i'm using in this video but i promise you this is the perfect milky white get it you will not regret it so i just finished off with top coat that i did not show on camera and then i just went in with my e-filer and i'm using this flathead drill bit now if you are someone who likes a really sharp clean tip on your nail you have to get this bit first of all it saves time and you're going to have the smoothest straightest edge and as you see you can do it after you finish with all your polish i'm not really filing it down too much i just want to get that nice straight edge and this is what i'm doing right here and this is how they came out you guys i kept it really simple this time i absolutely love how they came out and if you notice i did add a highlighter color to my pinky that color is from Beatles I'll link that down below um, along with all the rest of the products and the tools that I use in this video the only thing I would say with doing your nails at home if you're using any of these tools any of these etching tools specifically just be mindful and be careful not to hurt yourself and you also don't want to damage your nail that's the only thing I would say about doing your nails at home but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. I actually enjoyed filming my nails this time. I've been doing my nails for so long and I've never done it on camera. I don't know why. Also, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, baby, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll holler at y'all in my next video.